Yeah, it did. Yeah, I heard. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So this line here is your spin halyard. So it's the same line that's tied to the top. It runs all the way back, all the way back forward, and then it's attached to the spinnaker in the middle of the spinnaker. Yeah. So to raise the spinnaker, all you do is you just pull this end, this side, the starter side of the spin halyard. And you're just, so you're pulling from here, from here. And then, right, and so what that's doing is it's going to raise the sail and it's also going to bring the pole out simultaneously. Oh, yeah. So it's going to do everything all at once. And then once you get it, once you pull it all the way and the spinner goes all the way at the top, it's it's made and, you know, it just goes in the cleat. It goes in that, it, 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 and it'll, pro it'll probably, honestly, a lot of times it just kind of naturally, once you get it all the way up, yeah, you know, when you have the downward tension on it, it just naturally gets stuck yeah. in place. Um, and then once that once it's raised, you're so you're trimming the sheet. So it's um, on this. So this is asymmetric. It's not like the symmetric on the lightning, where you're essentially just trimming a big jib, which is super cool. And then so to jive, all you're doing is, and again, it's a continuous sheet, right? So you're so if, you know if we had the spinnaker up on that side, you'd be trimming this sheet. You would just you would start to ease this side of it and then you start to trim that side to bring it around. Yep. So mm -hmm. the connection to the other Correct. Right. Yep, exactly. That stays that stays that straight. Sort of yeah. 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 yeah, no. Which is what makes asymmetrics so much I mean it makes them it makes it easier. Yeah. You know, and also you're going so what, what you'll notice when we set it, you'll notice that you're reaching, right? You're going at much higher angles. Um, so the boat's going faster. You are sailing more distance. You know, so between like the difference between like this and a lightning, I think like like in this kind of breeze, like honestly, probably the lightning might get to a point downwind a little bit faster, just because you can you can just go dead downwind. Yeah. Whereas with the, this boat, you have to sail such high angles. As it gets windier though, this gets Speed the speed makes up. So if you saw like last night in that last race, like we yeah, were, uh, we were stuck. Yeah, we, we caught up to most of you guys. Then we had like a little snap too at the at the Dallas at the mark. But um, so I think like as it gets windier and windier, you can you can sail lower angles still really fast with the uh, with the ace mark. Um, so now, so on the depth, so that's you know, so the dives simple. I mean, so what you're doing same thing like on the lightning for a trim on the spinnaker. You're just looking at the curl of the, you know, of the, you know, the leading edge of the sail. Yeah. Yep. And you just want you easy it until it curls, and then you trim it just to keep it kind of right on that bridge. So you're gonna be, so actually no, so you, it'll be on, it'll be rotated kind of in front. So like the leading edge that you're gonna be seeing is gonna be kind of like that. Yeah. So you're, yeah. So you're gonna be able to, right? Exactly. And you'll be able to see it um, when it comes around. Now, the douse. Right, so when we take it down, what you do is, so we're gonna pull, you pull this end of the housing, but before you do that, you just make sure that what you do is you uncleat this end. So you uncleat that end, and you just pull, 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 pull on this side, and what it does is it sucks the spinnaker back in the bag. Yeah, and it pulls the pole back. It'll automatically stop, or as it goes you're gonna wait. You, 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 you're gonna pull it until you see it. Until you see it like that. And at that point, like, I mean, if you pull it now, like, you pull it out, you'll see, like, you can't really go. You can't really go in anymore. Yeah. Yep. Um. You know, what's cool. I think another cool thing about this boat is the vang is like this. Yeah. So it keeps. It just keeps it so open. You know, like versus the lightning or whatever, where it's just you're always like trying to get out of the way. Everything. <laughs> and that, like, that's all I remember with that. It's just like, it's so, there's so much stuff in there. There's so many ropes and so many, yeah. Um, Alright, so what we'll do is, we will.
Let's go for a, let's try a giant. Now, as you go around, so you're gonna, you're gonna ease the one in your left hand and you're gonna start to pull the one in your right. Even though you're selling more real estate, it's just like you're just going fast. Like it's just, it's just more exciting. <laughs> and just like pointing the then like pointing the boat dead downwind and just kind of like sitting there. <laughs> and again, like I mean, this is I mean, this is pretty light. Like, this is probably, yeah, this is probably like five knots. Maybe. Yeah, I'll be more than that. 